person has died following Monday's shooting at a Louisville, Kentucky bank. Police say the 25-year-old gunman killed his co-workers and injured eight others, all while live streaming on Instagram. Among those injured is Nicholas Wilt, an officer who graduated from the police academy just two weeks ago. The rookie ran toward the gunfire and was shot. He's now in critical condition. Ryan Bass is live near the shooting scene with the latest. Ryan. Good morning, Adrian and Mitch. Yeah, that rookie police officer is still fighting for his life this morning. One of the first to encounter the shooter here at the old National Bank behind me. This is in downtown Louisville, just to give you an idea where this is right here on Main Street. And those are the boarded up windows here to the bank's entrance where that killer shot through to get into this bank. Now, late yesterday, a fifth person was announced killed from this bank shooting that happened here yesterday morning as police continue to investigate why a bank employee would murder his colleagues. This should not continue to happen. Evil should not try to prevail and take over our city. Louisville and the entire state of Kentucky horrified and heartbroken Monday morning when 25 year old bank employee Connor Sturgeon shot and killed five of his colleagues, hurting eight others, including three officers and all while live streaming it on Instagram. He just started shooting. Describe that again, everything that you saw. He just started, uh, he had a long assault rifle and he just started, you hear the, 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 sh the shots just start firing. We were in the conference, back conference room. Whoever's next to me got shot and hit blood on me from it. Joshua Barrick, Thomas Elliott, Juliana Farmer, and James Tutt were shot and killed Monday morning. A fifth victim, Deanna Eckert, later died from her injuries. Two of those murdered were the governor's close friends. I'm hurt and I'm hurting. And I know so many people out there are as well. We lost four children of God today, one of whom was one of my closest friends. Tommy Elliott helped me build my law career, helped me become governor, gave me advice on being a good dad. Police arrived at the old National Bank three minutes after they got the call around 830 that shots were fired. They killed the shooter soon after. Running towards the gunfire was 26-year-old rookie officer Nicholas Wilt. He was shot in the head and has undergone brain surgery, but remains in critical condition. Let's be clear about what this was. This was an evil act of targeted violence. This is really difficult for all of us across the entire city to process and accept. Police are still working to determine what caused Sturgeon to kill his coworkers. This was the governor's bank, and he said if not for the quick work of police, more lives would have been lost. I think what we need most right now in a word is love. I mean, just love. Love for these families. They're going to need it. I can tell you. I've talked to them. I'm very close with one of them. They are going to need that love, and we need love for each other. Now, police are expected to give a new update today, Adrian, but a close friend of mine who knows a few folks that work here at this bank behind me tells me that that shooter was being let go and entered into a conference room where a meeting was being held yesterday morning. But again, I do want to stress, police have not released a motive at this time, Adrian, as they continue to investigate the shooting here at the old National Bank. You know, you look at this tragedy, you look at the historic flooding they had last year. Kentucky has been hit hard some very sad news as of late. Thank you so much. I hope everyone stays strong. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.